too much earth and it turns into a desert, hot, dry, and dull. Too much water and it turns into a mudslide. Everything goes downhill. But just the right correlation of these two elements and life's a beach. I'm looking for the heart in you. Sometimes I don't know what to do. They be looking when you ain't looking. Okay, so okay, if you okay. want it, you you okay, try Taurus hard. and Scorpio. So listen, right? With Scorpio, you're going to have an intense, up and down, fluctuating, loving, just cool, kind, sensual, but then sporadic, through the roof. This is not going to be boring for you. And this can be great for you, Taurus, because too much boredom makes you get to thinking about things and like things should be different or, you know, what is this person doing? What is the Scorpio doing other than trying to make you happy and have some type of fun or whatever the case may be, right? So this push and pull type thing is really going to be your type of deal here because it's not going to be like you're giving too much without getting back in return. The Scorpio is going to feel the same way about you. So if this Scorpio is not built like with the shits, like up for that whole type of oh why are you mad at me all of a sudden type energy and like really trying to like push you away forever after that then you know that this is not just scorpio they're not up for the battle because you know it's going to happen eventually and inevitably throughout your relationship i'm talking about if this scorpio is going to be into you it's going to be known however at the same time there may take some time to develop the type of commitment that says okay i'm in in now you know what i'm saying and you taurus might commit before they do and i'm not saying that scorpio is incapable of committing actually when they do commit they are going to commit but i would say this though if you think that you're in it in it right that is, is a commitment and they have not clearly stated that or made that substantial that is a red flag and guess that's not even a red flag on them that's a red flag on you that's just how scorpios get down they will get down with the push and pull i told you because they're testy at the same time they want to see how durable and how strong you are and how much you can thug it out so it's going to take a little time for them to develop that type of position to where they say okay that's that's my girl or that's my guy you understand what i'm saying so be prepared for that this is also a, a situation with scorpio that you won't have to be running after this individual okay because they are going to enjoy preying on you sort of type of what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying and if you give too much to this scorpio individual and they look at that they see that they like uh you know they like me too much you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they're just giving up too much. It's going to take all of the the the, the gameplay. And I don't mean gameplay out of it as, as of they're going to play games with you or they want to play games with you. I mean, as far as how can where's the challenge so I can see that this is my catch. You understand what I'm saying? Because I like you, the determination aspect that both of these signs carry does trickle over into the relationships. So if the relationship is not enough of a challenge then it makes them shy away a bit and it just makes them look at it like, ah, uh, this is probably not for me because Scorpios are used to dealing with extremities of ups and downs, highs and lows, all right? And this is what gravitates you towards them or makes you want to be in it because you feel like you're in a true relationship. It's not something that you turn on the TV and everybody's this harmonious thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not encouraging like, um, you know, what do you call those toxic relationships? I'm just saying you know, real life situations, if you're with a person thick and thin every day, you're going to run into some types of obstacles. You're going to run into delays, restraints to where people are just in different moods, different situations, different things going on with themselves personally to where you have to make a conscious decision to determine whether you're going to stick it out with these people or not you know what i'm saying and scorpio for you taurus is going to be that type of individual you know what i mean now will you be able to withstand the intensity or will you be able to or should i say do you want to and i for one say this and i'm not just saying this because you're strong taurus i for one just think it's pretty healthy for you because again from my experiences observation reading studying astrology and everything if the taurus is not met with the challenge in some type of way they also get to thinking things and probably the worst things so the scorpio intense thing and the back and forth the push and the pull 
are we going to be together are we not thing it's kind of healthy for you is pretty much what i'm saying all right don't let this escalate into some type of toxicity though because if it does and this person just wants to hurt you if you find that this scorpio just wants to hurt you now that's a red flag that's when you gotta get up out of there you understand what i'm saying because they can make a habit out of that because of the behavior that takes place between you two it can become an obsession right so if it's just like oh they get gratitude i mean not gratitude but if they're gratified by expressing that type of energy with you and you're still around because you like to you know be determined and stick it out you know you might be so stubborn towards that you want to make this work or you know make them change or whatever the case may be and they may take that to a you know in a different light and be like oh no matter what i do this person's going to be there you know what I mean? you got to understand this is a sign that is so intense that you know the depths of depth can come with this relationship and if you're willing to go that deep do you even know what that deep is you understand what i'm talking about so keep this in mind keep this in consideration if it gets so deep that it's not it can't get lighthearted and fun again remember this is about fluctuations here so if it goes deep it should be able to come back up if it's not coming back up that's a red flag get out of there but other than that taurus most tauruses want a relationship that they can show commitment in and it's done by doing favor it's done by showing it right same thing with the cancer like yo buy me a car and it's just like poof there goes your car you know what i'm saying same thing here with the scorpio if they show it by action which they can when you're dealing with a scorpio this is something that you will be gratified in seeing and experiencing and this is what makes you believe okay this is a concrete decision that i'm making to stick it out and be committed with this individual you know this is not one of those things where they can be keeping you in the dark either like or should they want to you know what i'm saying this is how you'll know when they're committed to you as well taurus when the scorpio is like okay yeah that's my wife or you know that's my husband and then you know then the little social social media posts and stuff like that then you know and i'm not saying that that makes everything right that that makes some type of large statement but it should not be no area with that when it comes to you to when you have reached the level of commitment so you know, and this is just anywhere, public affairs and stuff like that. If they're going out, you should be going out, too. You know what I'm saying? If you're going out, they should be going out, too. Like, it should be one of those. This is how you know when y'all are in, then. You understand what I'm talking about? Other than that, y'all are playing around. They still got somebody that they're dealing with or some type of secret going on. You know what I'm saying? And who knows what you got going on, Taurus, because you're the sign of the vocal cords, yet you might not be saying a damn thing. So, this is my breakdown for the Taurus and the Scorpio. I'm out.